Okay, welcome to Fix It with Jeff. I'm gonna change it up a little bit today. Take you on a shop with me tour. Going to Cabela's. Actually, we saw this uh, deer that we wanna look at. It's actually a decoy, but we're gonna look at it for a yard decoration. So Cabela's, it looks like a huge log cabin. They got these two huge bucks in the front. I don't know if they're fighting or what's going on, but they look like turtles. On the mountain. So Cabela's you know, sells everything like for outdoor and hunting and fishing and everything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out and see what they got today. Okay. So they're doing a fishing raffle. I still probably wouldn't catch no fish. So here's what it looks like when you walk in. Yeah, $28 for a flag. We actually just picked up one at Menards. This is a wood one. We picked up a steel one with a nice little eagle on it. And it was a three foot by five foot for $15. This one, I don't know what the size is. 30 inches by 30, 30 inches by 50 inches. So almost, but not quite. Uh, they got all your like outdoor gear, some regular clothes too. Got some uh, griddles and grills, smokers. This one here is a nice one. So let's see if we can find that buck, uh, maybe over here. So let's go check the deer country area. That may be just a display. That looks like it's just a display. So that's not where they have the decoys, but they do got some nice displays in here. Yeah, that one has fur on it. It was a real one. He died in 1977. So it was a real one. And that they got turkeys. Welcome to deer country. Looking around my camp here, you can see all White toe. kinds of This one's from deer 2005. All around North America. And yet, deer hunting has done nothing but gotten better over the years. He's a ventriloquist. And hunting is one of the best ways to maintain animal numbers. Yeah, he's a ventriloquist. You can hear him. Skunks. Because of good hunting regulations and people caring about wildlife and conservation of our natural resources, deer so white tail. Hey, yeah. 50 years ago, one said it's very tiny deer at all. Because the This one has a lot of horns on his. I don't know if he was sick or what was going on with his horns. Oh, there goes Tiny. That's our dog. He likes to scratch his face all the time. Just like that position, too. That's how Charlie looks sometimes. Okay, so let's see what else they got. This is the home and decor area. All country. Some more animals over here, an elephant. Oh, that lion's gonna have himself a good meal. He can weigh up to 500 pounds. So more clothes in this section. Over there, they'll have the fishing section. And then there's a back section where all the boats are at. I 
think the what we're looking for might be upstairs. So we'll go upstairs. And then here in the middle of the store, a huge uh, display of all the different animals. Yeah. Okay, so now we're on the second level. We got all the hunting gear, your hunting clothes. Take note. $170 for these jackets. Oh, there's a uh, target practice deer. Let's go check that out. Arrows. Oh, here's one. So this is the female one. But, but yeah, see, it does have the lines. So this one is hollow. Not showing a price. Oh, 140. Oh, there's the male, 150. I'm sure, it's that big with horns on it. Oh yeah. No, this is just saying it's a scrapper buck. Is the boss buck? Yeah, this one's a scrapper buck. There's the boss buck, 180. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one we saw from Amazon. And on Amazon, $100? $98 on Amazon. So, you can save a lot of money by using Amazon too for the same things in the store. So I wish they had one on display so we could see what it looks like. So let's see how big this one is. This one says, I'm not sure on how the dimensions are in it. Oh, nose to tail. Let's see, tip of ear to the ground is 44 inches. That's how tall that one is. This one says, antler 58 inches. Shoulder to ground, 41 inches. Yeah, so the buck is just a little bit bigger than this. This is 32 inches, and uh, the bigger one sits up here at 41 inches. Yeah. Yes. So then uh, over here they have the uh, bow and arrows, target practice stuff, and they also have a gun section. So here's all your bow and arrows. That's your target practice one. And then they have all your uh, gun safes, gun cases. All your guns. All your bullets and stuff, you can get your ammo here. They also have a used gun section, so you can buy used guns. And handguns. They don't sell doggies, but they have doggies. They don't, they have the uh, gun library closed, but they have a gun library. And then when I came one other time, they had an area where like there was like some classic guns and used guns on sale that was in this area, but I don't see that this time. And then these are your um, BB guns. Yeah, I hear it over here. There's a waterfall over there. So the view from up here, you get your fishing section, the boats. Oh no, that yeah, Bass Pro Shop is the one that 
has like a huge boat area and Christmas time they would deck it out. They used to have a real delicious restaurant, but they don't have that no more. But yeah, this is that display in the middle. So there's a big overview of the whole store. Anything for outdoor, they have it here. The camping? Yeah, so now we're gonna go check out the camping area. So they have dog kennels here too, some dog beds for those hunting dogs, dog toys. So a lot of good stuff up in, in Cabela's. All the hunting gear, tents for hunting. There's the outhouse. That's where you get fitted up for your gear. So now we're gonna go check out the camping section. Oh, look at they got the cowboy grill over here. How much did we pay? Five. It's three hundred now. So some grills over here. It's the cowboy grill. I actually have this one. I think I paid one fifty. But yeah, I have. Everything exactly like this. I have this exact grill. Even for visuals, it's nice. So I have that. I'm gonna pull that out, show you guys that one while we do our yard tour. Grill with a griddle. And you got your camping grills. That's what you need. This other one. This one you can do some stir fry on. It's 150. Two burner stove. Oh, this piece is separate. I'm confused. It says barbecue box. Oh, so this thing is 140. This some griddles. There's some other camping stoves they have. No, oh, we're good, thanks. There's a camping stove here. These are camping stoves too. I thought they even had some other ones. There's a camping stove here. Look at this one. This one's a. Uh... You get that too? For some hot water? Hmm. Here's a little one. Little camping stove. Camping Tongs with a spatula. I love that. Get a carrying bag for your two burner stove. Why do I need here and I want to talk crunchy? Here's another one, little tabletop one. This one, uh, 319, really? Okay. No, 170. Okay. The oven. Oh no, this is a, a griddle to put on top of that two burner. So that's what this is. You don't get the burners with this. So let's see the price. Then they have a, an area where you can do a shooting range. So they got all your uh, cast iron stuff, your pans. All the lodge cast iron. Reversible griddle. 
so you can do flat top and grill. Metal detectors. So more cast iron stuff over here. You could put the coals on top. Cook that way. Outdoor, basically grill. You put your coals and everything underneath that. Mosquito bait station, huh? You trap the mosquitoes. Yeah. Hmm. Chicken fried rice. Yeah. This is like your end times food. Mm -hmm. Okay, emergency food supply. Mm -hmm. Look at ready to eat sandwiches. Italian sausage. Oh yeah. French toast. Look at a survival backpack with all kinds of food. Yes, all kinds of food. Beef stew, scrambled eggs, the whole meal here. Here's some more cooktops. Two burner cooktop. What's this? Oh, this is just a... Uh, Basically a little charcoal grill. Here's a, is this a burner? Yeah, this is a burner. A little burner top. Here's one here that has a grill and a burner. Yeah, this, these use these little propane tanks. So you get these little propane tanks. Then you use, uh, here's a more. These are the propane tanks you use with those. Two burner one. Oh, that's the case. So 120 for that one, little tabletop one. That one looks nicer. But it's the same, I don't know, I'm confused. This one is cheaper though. And it has a grill. They also sell bikes. And these might be the easy electric uh, bike. Electric and it's regular bike. Every morning he's on on the train with that. I don't see that bike here. But it's like looks like a motorcycle. Does it paddle? Yeah, it has paddles and and it also is electric. And look at they got like classic looking bikes. You know, the tricycle bikes though. So that's some rugged bike right there. Some rugged biking. Yeah. $4,300. Is this electric? I think it might be electric. Yeah, it is an electric bike. Might as well just buy a car then, forget it. So what else do they got? They got some tents. Uh, they got generators. So you need a generator. Here's your tents. Yeah, I have a 5,000 watt generator. Sleeping bags and sleeping beds. There's the boats. So I hope you enjoyed shopping with me. And until next time, make sure you like and subscribe. Fix it with Jeff.